قل هذه سبيلي أدعو إلى الله على بصيرة أنا ومن اتبعني وسبحان الله وما أنا من المشركين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين one of the important questions that we received in Basira is a question about music. The question says, is music halal when it includes instruments but not sung in front of a gathering of mixed men and women and doesn't include any haram language or words? So this question is a very important question. And this question actually needs a lot of detail. Because our audience is mixed, we have some people who follow the Hanafi Madhab, some follow the Maliki Madhab, some follow the Hanbali Madhab, some follow the Shafi'i Madhab. It's hard to just give one answer. But I'd like to mention the opinions of the scholars of jurisprudence in Islam. And then according to your Madhab, you can inshallah ta'ala benefit and follow. So generally, music in Islam is uh, two things. Music can mean the voice and it can mean instruments. When it comes to singing with your voice, the majority of scholars don't have any issue, no matter uh, how much you sing and where you sing, as long as there's nothing haram included. You can use your voice for anything and you can actually get rewards by singing um, things that bring people closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is known in Arabic as at taghani at taghani means to beautify things with your voice. In the hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa mentions the virtues of at taghani bil Qur'an, singing the Qur'an. The second thing uh, when it comes to music is having instruments, playing instruments. Instruments are not one thing. We know that if we look into um, music today and we go into uh, shops that have instruments, we find hundreds of different types of instruments out there. One instrument that is very famous in Islam and in Arab countries, in Persian countries, in um, all the civilizations is a duf. A duf is the drum that is one-sided. It doesn't have a back, so it's an open drum. And today in music, I believe they call it the, um, there's a special name for it in English um, also. A duf is permissible according to the majority of scholars and they don't have an issue with using a duf. Whether it's in uh, a nikah, whether it's in marriage, whether it's in um, an ashid festival, a duf is permissible according to the majority of scholars and the majority of madhahib. If the duf has little um, pieces of metal on it that makes an extra sound, Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala also allows this and believes that it is permissible inshallah ta'ala. Another instrument that the scholars talk about is a drum. What is the ruling of having drums? So drums are similar to a duf but they are covered from both sides. They are closed from both sides. Drums are also halal, they're not haram, according to the majority of scholars. Although some scholars dislike using it in certain circumstances. So a drum is halal according to the majority of scholars, although some scholars do not allow using drums, but they allow duf. So duf is even more permissible than drums, and drums are permissible according to the majority of scholars. Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala does not allow drums that have a small um, or that that are, are large and wide from the top and then they s shrink when it comes to the bottom so they are built in a, um, a shape similar to uh, the sand uh, watches that we uh, see um, online although other scholars believe that this has the same ruling as other drums some scholars it's not a Famous opinion, but it is the opinion of Imam al-Rafi'i in the Shafi'i Madhab, allow using the flute if it is small and not large. Some scholars allow using the flute, although the majority of scholars do not allow the flute. <clears throat> when it comes to other instruments, like 
instruments that have strings, like guitars and pianos and things like that, the majority of scholars, all four madhabs do not allow using these instruments at all. All four madhabs do not allow using these instruments at all. And I'm not saying that this is the opinion of every single scholar in Islam, but it definitely is the opinion of the majority of scholars. So it is better to stick to using the duff or the drum and not go into other instruments, especially if those instruments have strings. Those instruments are similar to a guitar or a piano or things like that. Why? Because these instruments are very overwhelming and very addictive. In Islam, it's okay to have a little bit of um, sound in the back, a little bit of uh, a beat, but not too much to the extent that it overwhelms you, it becomes addictive, and it actually takes away from the meaning of the words that you are listening to when it comes to the nasheed that you're listening to or anything else. So generally, it's better to stick to these types of uh, instruments in Islam, and this is the opinion of the majority of scholars in Islam, and this should be the normal case that you take these opinions inshallah ta'ala in your normal life and uh, Allah ta'ala a'lam wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam